In this video, we're going to take a look at angles that are formed by intersecting lines. Let's start with just one angle. Here's a straight line with our vertex in the middle at that point, and this angle is 180 degrees. It can also be called a straight angle. Now, this video is supposed to be about angles, so how do we get some angles out of this straight angle? We could add a ray, and now we have two angles. So what if we know the measurement of one of these angles? What if our acute angle is 60 degrees? Can you easily figure out what the other angle is? It would have to be 120 degrees because together they have to add up to 180 degrees. There's a couple names that we can give to this relationship. One of them is linear pair. Another one is supplementary angles. And the last one is line equals 180. Let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these. A linear pair is two angles that form a line. And anytime two angles form a line, they're going to add up to 180 degrees. Here's another example of a linear pair. And one more. So anytime you have two angles that form a line, you can call them a linear pair. By the way, when two angles are next to each other like that, they can also be referred to as adjacent angles. So these two angles could also be referred to as supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. But you don't want to use supplementary angles as the reason for why you can use one to get the other. And an example that shows this is these two angles. These also are supplementary angles, but that is not a linear pair because those two angles are not forming a line. So supplementary angles is usually something that we use to describe two angles where you already know what they add up to, or they're not part of a drawing where they make a line. The third way that you could describe the relationship between these two angles would be line equals 180. And the definition for line equals 180 is angles that form a line add up to 180 degrees. So this is actually my personal favorite for justifying this relationship because it not only works with what you see in front of you, but you could also use it for a situation like that. So if we wanted to label these three angles, x, y, and z, you could write an equation x plus y plus z equals 180 degrees. Now that is not a linear pair because there's not two of them. So the advantage of line equals 180 is that you can apply it when there's more than two angles. Before we move on, let's go back to supplementary angles because oftentimes when we talk about supplementary angles, there's another type of angle that comes up that's very similar to supplementary angles. And that would be complementary angles. And complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So this would be one example of complementary angles. The most common way that you'll see complementary angles is you'll start with a right angle. That square at the angle means it's 90 degrees. And then you'll divide that into two angles. So we know those two angles are complementary because together they form a right angle. If we wanted to set this up like a problem, we could say one of the angles is 50 degrees and we're trying to find x. And then we could set up our equation x plus 50 equals 90 and then solve for x, which would be 40. So complementary angles add up to 90 and supplementary angles add up to 180, but it only works when there are two angles involved. Now let's take a look at why is this video titled Angles Formed by Intersecting Lines? Because right there we just have our straight angle with a ray sticking out. We could go ahead and label these two angles angle one and angle two. And right now it doesn't really look like intersecting lines, but if I extend the line, now you got your intersecting lines. And the key is if you add more lines, like say that or that, no matter how complicated this drawing gets, the relationship between angle 1 and angle 2 is always going to be a linear pair or line equals 180. 
So here's the last type of angle relationship we're going to look at in this video. What do we know about that 70 degree angle and the angle labeled x degrees? You probably know the answer to this, but let's take a look at how we could use what we've learned so far to find out what x is. So we'll start by actually labeling another angle. Let's call that angle n. And now we can use our line equals 180, and we know that n plus 70 has to equal 180. So that means n is 110 degrees. So let's go ahead and replace that n with the 110. And now we can use that 110 degree angle and the x and use line equals 180 to write an equation of 110 plus x equals 180. And we solve for x and we get 70 degrees, which might have made sense right from the start when you just look at the diagram. But instead of using line equals 180 twice every time we run across this situation, we have a name for this angle relationship. And we simply refer to this situation as vertical angles are equal. And since vertical angles are always equal, we don't have to use those two equations to solve for x. We can simply say x equals 70. So that's all the types of angles that we're going to learn about in this video. Let's go ahead and practice some problems. So for these three problems, you want to start by stating your reason or justification that you're going to use, and then write an equation and then solve for x. So go ahead and pause the video and give these a try and then hit play to check your answer. Okay, so the first problem, the relationship between x and 125 degrees, that's a linear pair. You could also write line equals 180. And so we can go ahead and write an equation, x plus 125 equals 180, and then that means x is 55. In the next problem, those are, and vertical angles are equal. So you simply have to write x equals 136. There's no further solving that needs to be done. On the last problem, you should use line equals 180. You can't say that that's a linear pair because there's three angles involved. This would mean that you go ahead and write an equation, x plus 90 plus 48 equals 180 degrees. And then when you solve it, you end up with x equals 42. Now it's true that x and 48 are complementary angles, but you shouldn't use that as your justification because that comes from using the 90 degrees that is given forms a line with the 48 and the x. So that will conclude our video on some angles that are formed by intersecting lines.